In this exemplary problem, we will study the relationship between a circuit output, current or power, and circuit input excitation, in this case, current source. So at first, uh, by what factor or increment this source should be increased to quadruple current that flows through R sub 2. So we have a single input, single output resistive circuit, one input uh, current source, one output current. Now, a relationship is a linear function. Current or voltage is a linear function of excitation, always. In case we have a single input, this uh, um, line crosses the origin, like we have on this diagram. Then, if we have a ratio of output, in our case current, uh, Y star is uh, value in uh, non-nominal condition, Y sub uh, superscript N is in nominal condition. If this ratio is K, then a ratio of excitation should be K as well, and we may calculate increment of excitation as shown here below. In our case, we have current, which is a linear function of source, a current source. K is constant of proportionality, the so-called transfer function. Uh, if we set our values for K equal 4, we will obtain that we have to increase um, a source, current source, four times, and this will give an increment of 12 amps. Please observe that for the given problem, the value of constant of proportionality k, the values of resistances, uh, they are meaningless. Now let me continue the same circuit, but a different problem. Now uh, our output is power, power absorbed by a resistor R sub 2. We may recall relationship between current that flows through this resistance and uh, excitation current source, uh, this is linear function, and then we may recall a formula that relates this current with power, and from this relationship we will find that power actually is uh, uh, some constant of proportionality, a new constant of proportionality, and a square of excitation. A uh, power uh, uh, absorbed by a resistor is a linear function of excitation, it is parabola. Then, if our ratio of power is k, then a ratio of input should be a square root of k. And then we can easily calculate the increment. Increment is square root of k minus 1 multiplied by the nominal value. In our case, as k is 4, then a ratio of input of excitation should be 2, and then increment should be 4, 4 amps. And finally, let me assume that now the output signal is also power, but not power dissipated by a resistor, power uh, supplied by the source. We have a single input, single output circuit. Um, this is voltage across a source. Uh, it is a linear function. Uh, this is constant of proportionality, a transfer function between this voltage and uh, excitation, then we can easily find that actually power is proportional to the square of excitation. It is once again a parabola. Power of excitation is a nonlinear function of uh, this excitation with uh, a limitation in case of multiple input uh, uh, circuits. The power of one excitation is a linear function of another excitation, but I'm not going to discuss 
this case and this moment. So for this exemplary problem, we will find that for k equal 4, for the ratio of power equal 4, the ratio of excitation should be square root of 4, which is 2, and increment should be 4 amps. Okay, that way we have completed this exemplary problem or problems.